everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Ashley, my YouTube channel is Reselling Farming Mom. Um, I'm gonna go through what I had to sell over the weekend. It's been a pretty busy weekend, so let's get to it. Okay, so first up, has anyone seen my latest haul auction haul video my foghorn leghorn auction haul i will link that up for you down below i so far i've had two items sell out of that so i will show you those first i learned something also while i was listing one of these items so first i'll show you my lidless teapot if you saw my video i was a little upset because i had no lid for this right well i was looking it up and other similar exactly the same items call it a pitcher a water pitcher so i'm thinking maybe it never had a lid in the first place because i could not find one that had a lid so i'm thinking maybe this is how it's supposed to be so i sold this for i accepted an offer for 25 dollars for this water pitcher thing so all in all on this i was probably i didn't tell anybody in my haul video about two dollars in sold it for 25 and then I have this foghorn pitcher the one I was quite excited about uh, the same woman lady she sent an offer on both of them so I accepted her offer since she was buying two of them uh, for $25 for this one as well um, I was three dollars and 33 cents in on this one because I paid 10 for a lot so but anyways so two foghorn items are down, many, many more to go. Um, if you wanna see the other foghorn items I got in the auction, make sure you just check out the video. We're gonna link it up down below of all of the foghorn. I've got clothes, I've got plush. Um, I have some plates, some mugs, so there will be more to come, I promise you. And then I have another item that is out of a haul. I will show you next was one of these uh the second giant car it's a okay i'm gonna get this it is a 118th rolex prototype dale earnhardt car it was in a garage sale haul i think video we will i'll link that one up down as well um i was about two dollars in on this i accepted i went back and forth with the buyer an offer of fifty dollars for this car so about two dollars in sold it for fifty it's a pretty good flip. Um, it looks, the picture here is how it looks. It's got three boxes and two things of styrofoam. I'm not gonna open it up. But if you wanna see it open, it is opened up in my video uh, down below. So there's that. I've got a couple smaller sales. We had a little 1984 Arco mini mouse squeaker toy does it has it squeak listen it's a weak squeak but it has a squeak i picked this up at a thrift store for a quarter sold it today for seven dollars then another bread and butter sale i have it's my first belt buckle i've ever sold this four inch silver owl you can see the owl belt buckle I think it was supposed to have like little gem eyes at one point. This is exactly how it was pictured in the listing. So I didn't lead anyone astray. There's the back of it. I picked it up for a dollar. Actually, somebody was set up in our yard for a community wide yard sale and I didn't set up. So we let a buddy of ours set up and I got this from him for a buck. Uh, I sold it for $15 this weekend. Then I have a Thomas the Train. You can see Thomas right there. This is all sealed up, guys. But it was a Thomas the Train crib set. It came with the fitted sheet, the pillowcase, and the comforter for a crib size mattress. And then I had extra flat sheet and pillowcase, I think. I picked them up at a yard sale, intending to use them for my son. So that tells you how long I've had them. Maybe five and a half years, but he had a race car bed. So I never put the Thomas the Train set on the bed because we had the race car bed and it just didn't seem to mesh for me. So I paid $5 for all of these. 
they've been sitting in this closet for years. I finally decided to list them on eBay. I sold them for $22 for everything in the poly. So that's a pretty good flip. After sitting on it for that long, I was happy to get anything at this point. Then we have some plates. I sell lots of plates, if you can't tell. But these are not Corel dishes. These are beautiful. It's a set of six. I will show you all six and then I will set them down and show you one. So there's all six plates. Look at the beautiful floral detail on these. They have a silver border. It's like a braided border too. Okay, so these are Haviland, Bavaria, Decor, Fane's something dishes. See the RW? They're all marked. I listed them as the, I listed everything that was on the back of the plate, then the dimensions of the plate. It was a seven and a half inch plate, I believe. And then I put just floral detail with the silver border. I picked these up at another yard sale here in my, like where I live, we had a community wide yard sale. Um, I paid $2 for all six of them. I sold them for $22 for the set of six. So another really awesome flip. And then I have some stemmed drinkware. So I have, see the Christmas tree? I'm gonna show you. Look at this. These are, I have four of them that sold, as I sold them as a set of four. These are Libby water goblets. You, I want to say they're Christmas tree stemmed water goblets. That's your Christmas stuff. You be quiet over there. So I will show you. I have four. One, two. Maybe I shouldn't show you all four. I've got this. Four. So I picked these up at the Goodwill. Um, I bought 12 of them. So glasses at the Goodwill, or at least my Goodwill, 50 cents a piece. So $2 in, I sold the set of four for $29.95 over the weekend. So another really awesome flip. Um, I have two more sets available if anyone is interested. They're listed in my eBay store, Ashley's Thrifty Shop. Then we've got two more items. We got beer stuff, guys. More beer stuff. Sold not one, but two Bill Elliott Coors number no. nine bumper stickers from 1988, new old stock. They still have, you can stick them on whatever you want. Um, they went to the same buyer. I didn't quite understand. They bought one and then they bought a second one, but they got this one cheaper because they sent an offer. So in total, both of these sold for $26 going to the same buyer. So easy to ship super happy and then can you guess the next thing that sold because i've only shown five of them selling so far i think but we have an old milwaukee guitar beer sign yes can you believe it it's only like the fifth one so this one sold for 52 dollars new old stock um as you can see it still has the backing so they can stick it on whatever they want i forgot to mention the bumper stickers and the guitar were currently as of right now free to me so i had a family member downsizing and they asked me if i'd like to sell some of this stuff on ebay and i said i would love to so 52 bucks not too shabby huh so that's all I've got for tonight. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you leave them down below. I'd love to know what everyone thinks. So have a wonderful night. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe.